I'm gonna show you guys some different ways to get better from your driveway, your basement, or your garage. Simplest way to train at home is using a shooting pad. Bauer makes three different sizes. You can turn that pad any which way you want to. I'm having it facing forward so I can pull the puck forward and backward. Remember, when you're shooting, we don't wanna face our body away from the net. We wanna face our hips and nips square to the net. So I'm gonna face that net. I might do a couple stick handles. Shoot with your eyes up. Look where you're shooting. Bang. Woo, came right back to me. A couple of different ways that you can use the pad to help you become a better shooter, a better goal scorer, is just by turning the pad. We all see players in the NHL now using that huge pull and release. The reason they do that is it changes the angle. If you change the angle before you shoot, it's gonna be a lot harder for that goalie to read your blade. So for this one, I'm gonna turn the pad horizontal, I'm gonna face the net, I'm gonna reach the puck out as far as I can to get that goalie to look over here, I'm gonna pull in tight to my body, and that's where I'll release the puck. So we're here, I push, I pull, bang! Oh my God, he's still got it. With our bigger pad, you can also work on those clap bombs, all right? So here, we turn that pad uh, vertically, so now we have a little bit more uh, room, and I'm just gonna, bang! Just trying to go five hole. When I was younger, we didn't have these. So I would be using either my game stick on the street, beating up my blade, my parents would get pissed off every time I did it, right? Or I would have to have two separate sticks. When you get a shooting pad like this, not only does it mimic the same glide that you'll feel on the ice, but it allows you not to mess up your stick. You just get on that pad, couple stick handles. Oh, still got it. We're gonna add in the clamp on passer. What I love about this passer is it's super lightweight, so it's great for home use, very portable from the basement to your garage to street hockey with the boys, girls, whoever you're playing with, right? And what's awesome about this is it actually clamps on directly to the shooting pad. So you don't have to worry about passing it hard, the passer slide in, reset, pause, boom, none of that. It's just rapid fire pass and shoot and it'll help you get better. Even a dummy can figure this out. All you have to do is slide these feet right along that passer. These knobs tighten you up, it will not move. What I'm looking for first and foremost is to get my shots off quicker with that one touch release. As you get older in the game, you have less and less time to get your shots off. This skill is gonna work on that. I'm gonna start on my backhand, body facing the net. All I'm gonna do is pass it off my backhand. It's gonna hit, I'm gonna tap, get my body around the puck and try and shoot as quickly as I can. The more you do this, the better you get at it. So I'm gonna pass, touch, bang. Ooh, don't hit the neighbor's house. Let's try that again, coach. All right, so we're here. I'm gonna pass, bang, right there. Off the backhand, quick pass, one touch. Oh my God. Don't hit any windows. So we went backhand to forehand. Let's go forehand to forehand here now. Again, as you get older, you don't have all the time in the world on a one-timer to tickle the ceiling of the building and then get that shot off. So we're gonna work on in tight one-timers, taking a minimal back swing. So we're here, I'm gonna pass, bang, right away. Here, look at the net, bang, right away. All right, this one's going top left, double dare me. Oh my God, he does it again. In the end, all that matters is you're constantly finding ways to level up your training. Don't be satisfied with level one. Push those boundaries. If you like this video or our other videos trying to help you get better, like, subscribe, check out Bauer's YouTube channel.